Our next speaker is Dr. Ian McGinnis. Again, no, no stranger to uh, this meeting. He's uh, MD, PhD, professor of rheumatology, and uh, director of the Institute of Infection, Immunity, and Inflammation at the University of Glasgow. He's uh, Muirhead Professor of Medicine, the University of Glasgow, and uh, the honorary rheumatology consultant. And um, here is his uh, CV. Um, he's editor of Kelly's Textbook of Medicine. And um, he's going to talk this morning about pathogenesis and treatment of rheumatoid arthritis in 2020. Ian. So that was a little surprise for Ed, who thought he was going to have to do his talk all over again. I loved it, Ed. I'd be happy for you to do it all over again. But actually, the title of my talk's up here. What a pleasure it is to be back here. Uh, I, I've said this before, but usually I'm only invited back to apologize. So um, Pam and, and Ed and David and all the people at the back for whom I've been a technical nightmare all day yesterday, I'm really sorry. Um, I, I don't know what I did wrong, but I'll do it better next time. It's lovely to be here, isn't it? Like Ed, it's been a long winter in Glasgow. The rain's been doing every direction, horizontal, up and down the way, sideways. I'm going to talk about that this afternoon. I thought we'd talk about rain this afternoon, given the sun was outside and you're all here in the dark. <laughs> oh, I tell you. And then, of course, there's the other problem with coming to America to give a talk at a meeting. Um, because David and Pam insist on a title and slides about eight years in advance. Now, I if you ask my wife, uh, don't know what I'm doing eight minutes in advance. So what I uh, did was I sent a few slides along. They're in your handout, and they're on some kind of snappy drive thing in your, uh, in your badge. I have no idea what that is, but I hope you thoroughly enjoy them. Um, they may not have a great deal of relevance to what I'm going to talk about for the first part of my talk today, <laughs> um, but they're absolutely directly relevant to the second part. Um, so anyway, these are, uh, these are my various disclosures, so clearly I've been very, very bad. And uh, these are the very generous people who, who give us money to do some of the things that I'm going to tell you about. Um, so I, I thought, however, I would start with just a little bit more explanation um, of where I come from. You know, over the years, I've been a little bit disparaging about Glasgow. You know, I've just occasionally mentioned that it was a city that had the odd, very, very subtle foible, just, the, just a little ripple of imperfection. And I thought it was maybe time to redress the balance while I was here. So I wanted you to know, first of all, that there are um, the, the three oldest English-speaking universities um, in the world were, were Cambridge, Oxford, and St. Andrews. But none of them are terribly important. What actually happened shortly after that in 1451 was that a, a university was opened in Glasgow. And, and some may argue that we are not part of the English-speaking world, but that is another conversation entirely. Um, and I have to say, after a glass or two of whiskey, I would be the first to agree that Glasgow speech is not easily understood to those of an English year. Nevertheless, um, and what have we been doing in the last 500 years in Glasgow? Well, quite a lot, it turns out. Um, these are some of the people who made their discoveries in Glasgow. Now, I, I'm going to use the laser, and I'll kind of go in either direction. If, if I had two lasers, I would do this, um, but I'm very uncoordinated, and I'd likely be giving you laser therapy in your retina on a regular basis, and I didn't see any shades. You should have been given 3D shades to wear today, and then you'd all have been safe. The fellows, by the way, who were wonderful yesterday, we had an unbelievably brilliant day with the future of rheumatology in this great nation is safe. Let me tell you, when I get a sore joint, I'm going to specifically fly to America to meet any one of those young fellows. They were so spectacularly brilliant. So if any of them are still here, that's three tequilas on the rocks tonight, okay? Now, they, what, what, back to Glasgow. So what was going on in Glasgow? Well, um, James Watt discovered the steam engine and started off the Industrial Revolution. Um, here's Joseph Black, who was the father of modern chemistry. Uh, and actually the originator of, of the, the whole notion of small molecule inhibition. John Logie Baird invented the television, believe it or not. Adam Smith was the father of modern economics. And, and here's Lord Kelvin, who's, uh, who, whose office is just next to mine in Glasgow, although he's been dead quite a time. Um, and I, I, I therefore am 